Potential game against Crew if we get through the next round. What would that mean to the club? Um, yeah, look, obviously, as, as a manager, I'm not looking past a replay against Stourbridge, but um, it's also quite nice to see that what the potential opponent could be for the next round. I'm sure Stourbridge are thinking the same. Um, so I'm sure, like us, they want to test themselves against a league club. That's what we want to do. Um, either one of us will be at home as well, which um, I think is important in FA Cup games. You know, you always want to be at home, especially if you're the lesser side. Um, we found it really hard away at Welling, found it tough again at Stourbridge, both lower league teams, but away from home, it evens the game out, I believe. Um, so whoever gets crew out of us or Stourbridge, I'm sure having home advantage will, I hope it'll be of an advantage for them as well. So we'll, we'll look forward to it, but we've got to get through the replay first. It's a bit of trivia, I'm sure you know. You scored the winner against crew in 2015. What was it like then to get the club through to the second round at the time? Um, well, at a time that was we had never beaten the league club either, so it was quite massive. Um, to be fair, it was the furthest that the the club had actually got. We made it to the third round, and we ended up being Stourbridge actually in the third round. We got to the fourth round against Bolton, which we lost. But um, yeah, it was the first time that we'd beaten a league club. Um, I think it became the furthest we had got in the competition as well. So it was really important for us as a group. And um, I think not only myself, but a lot of the boys are remembered um, quite fondly by the fans because of that um, period we had. You know, we had a good group. Um, and we actually went there quietly, not saying it too loudly, but we went to crew um, really confident we could go there and win. We had a lot of boys in the group that had played in the Football League. Um, they was quite a young team at the time and um, struggling down towards the bottom end of League One. So we went there quite confident, thinking that we could win. Um, yeah, and it's something nice to look back on for myself and all the boys that was involved. You, you said it was a, a tough away at Stalbridge. What has the team got to do at home to get to the next round? Um, similar to what we did against um, Welling, you know, it was a, a real tough away game. Um, you know, I had to stand up to the conditions, and, and they was a decent team as well. You know, they um, they made it difficult for us at times with their shape, but then um, credit to them as well. They played some good football as well, especially their second goal from them was a well worked goal. So, um, at home especially, I concentrate on what we can do. Um, I believe if we play the way we can and the way I want us to play, we're a match for anyone at home. And I think we've shown that in the league this year um, and also in that second game against Welling when we won, um, albeit with some injuries and some young lads that stepped up and played brilliant on the night. So um, it'll be about us um, hopefully stamping our authority on the game plan, how we want to play. Um, and if they're a match for us and better than us on the day, then fair play to them. You know, we just got to worry about ourselves in the, in the replay.